In biomedical research, we started from introduction to biomedical research, then we talked on title, then uh, finding out the research question, how to set, the, set up the objectives, then the uh, methods, methodology, then data collection tools, we talked on um, the different kinds of study designs, then analysis plan, the software used for that, and we also uh, discussed uh, on proposal writing and also the grant proposal writing. And this is the 27th topic among the biomedical research and we are coming to an end that is by publishing our study results. So publication, the manuscript writing is very important. So today I will explain about what is a manuscript, how to write a manuscript and what are the uh, things you have to keep in mind while writing a manuscript so you will get a very good uh, journal for uh, acceptance in a very good journal for publication. Okay. So, manuscript is any document which is submitted for publication. It can be a poetry, can be a music and in this context this become a scientific publication. So, this can be an original article that is if you are publishing your study result, original uh, research work or it can be a uh, review or it can be an editorial correspondence or a perceptive. So the first question comes to us is when do you start writing your manuscript? So you should have the end result of your study in the form of tables and figures ready with you. So Start thinking about writing the manuscript when the results in the form of tables and figures are ready with you. And also you should have two to three central ideas. Okay. That will be the answer to your research question and also your objectives. And you should outline of the argument that you are going to uh, present before the scientific community through your manuscript. Okay, outline of your argument. So if you have your final result, your two to three central ideas that you are going to explain through your manuscript and if you have an argument outline, then you can start writing your manuscript. So now you have all the three with you, you are ready to uh, start writing. Then next question coming is how can I write a manuscript? Usually we follow the IMRD structure. IMRD structure, what is that? It is introduction, then the methods. the results and discussion. So this is the, this IMRD structure is usually the pattern followed in writing any manuscript. So what will you write in the introduction? Introduction usually you write as why I started writing this study or why I started doing this study. This starts with the research question. Okay, so introduction will start with the research question. And in the methods, what did you do to find out the answer to the research question? So in methods, it comes as what did you do? Okay. And, and in the results, you can write as what did you get or what is the result? Okay. Again, there comes the what you get from the study or what you find from the study in the discussion. You can write us what did all this mean? Okay. Meaning. What is the meaning of all the things I have done so far? So there comes the discussion. And this IMRD structure is a pattern of writing the manuscript. But you can, the sequence can be changed as you wish. Uh, Sometimes it becomes easy when you start with the methods because uh, you have the results with you. You know the methods you have done to find out the results. So you can start with the methods and results. Then after that you can go to the introduction and discussion writing and then state the keywords and towards the end 
After completion of the manuscript, you can start writing the abstract. So, we can discuss each one. The introduction. The thing is that while starting to read an article, the reader's mind will be uh, flying with so many things. So, while reading the uh, introduction, it should be such that the reader should get attracted into the topic and he or she should start concentrating into your topic. So, always write the importance of your research. Why I started doing the research and so the uh, importance of the topic and the knowledge gap present there that is uh, what is known and what is unknown. Then what is new in your um, study? Everyone will be uh, interested to know what is new in your, a a in your area. So indirectly you are uh, telling the uh, community that why your paper is worth accepting. Okay, so that is important and also the rationale and in the introduction you have to write the objectives also. And the method section. That is very important. Actually it reflects the credibility and reliability of your research. And you can explain what you have done in very simple terms. And usually it is around 200 to 400 words. This will vary according to the uh, study type. But the uh, usual uh, principle is to write methods in 200 to 400 words. And this should include the setting of your study. And the design of your study. Use the operational definitions. Then the sampling strategy. How you have done the uh, sampling and how you uh, got the sample size then the study procedure you have to write in detail the data management which includes both data collection and analysis okay collection and analysis part next is the human participant protection that is the human uh, uh, ethics committee approval from which institution and also the key elements or the key method you have used to protect the um, participants who have included in the study. Okay, so that is regarding the methods. And in the research section, you can state the findings of your study in text, in uh, the tables, figures and images. Uh, there is no need to uh, elaborate the findings along with the tables and there is no need to repeat tables and figures on same uh, finding. Okay, and uh, usually in the tables, we give five tables are usually uh, given. That is usually the table one is on social demography features. Table two is on dependent variable, that is on the outcome. Table three is association table uh, of this outcome. And table four, association of outcome with other factors. Okay, and table five, if there is a multivariable table. And the usual tendency in uh, PG uh, thesis is they will, on same finding, they will represent it in tables and also in figures. There is no need to do this. So, it is usually a repetition. And all the standard journals have their, their own um, guidelines to represent the tables and figures. So, you have to read that guidelines and stick to that guidelines. And Remember that in the research section, you should not elaborate the results as interpretation or discussion. Just state what you have uh, got after doing the study. That is only the findings of your study. There is no other discussions on that. Okay. Regarding discussion, discussion is an area where uh, you need lot of investment from the side of researcher. So you have to uh, read your uh, study results and then make sense of it. Okay, so first you make a summary of your finding and this should be usually in two to three lines. Don't go for elaborate summary. Then you interpret and infer your data. Then compare your data with the existing literature. That is comparing. Then you write the strength and limitations of your study so that the reader can bear with your study limitations and they can continue reading. Okay. Then write conclusions and this conclusion should be in result in line with the results of your study and also it should be in line with the uh, objectives of your study and always write on 
the key two to three ideas, central ideas, right? Then you go write the recommendations. Recommendation based on your conclusion so that the uh, another researcher can start from there going beyond or recommendation to do what a future plans, future recommendations and also study implications. And that is about uh, discussion and the uh, manuscript should be in an IMRD uh, structure that is introduction, methods, results and discussion. And after writing this manuscript, you start writing the abstract or the summary. Abstract is usually a miniature manuscript. It is like a trailer to a film. So after reading the manuscript, the reader decide whether to write, uh, read the full text or not. So abstract is very important. You have to uh, spend lot of time and investment and energy in writing a manuscript. Because that decides whether the reader should go to your text or not. That is a point from where you get the citations. So that is very important. So me is a manuscript. It can be either structured or unstructured. You can, you can use the same IMRD structure here also. You start with the background and then the methods in short. Then uh, the results and then go to the uh, discussions and remember this is the most commonly read part of your uh, publication and usually uh, the journals give specification and that is uh, 100 to 350 words use plain languages so that even the common man will read that and they will be interested in your full text and some tips are uh, and remember you should start writing this abstract only after finishing your manuscript so that you can take the central point from your background, your rationale, your methods, your results and your uh, discussion and don't add any references here. Uh, make should be such that the sentence should flow freely from one sentence to another, from one idea to the other. Next is key. And if you select very good keyword, the chance of your article getting picked up uh, when the reader or the scientists give the keyword into the search engine increases. So always use the keywords or points which are related to your title and that will uh, the main domain uh, which pertain to your research paper. So this keyword is important. The next comes the references. Uh, you should give reference to all the information that is used in your manuscript. Uh, usually the journals will give specifications on the style of reference and they can be Vancouver style, Harvard style, there are so many uh, styles are there. You can either do it manually or there are softwares available for that. And you can enlist them uh, either alphabetically or numerically. So this is how you have to write a manuscript and in writing the uh, structure you have to organize the ideas very clearly. So there should be a flow, so there should be a logical and sequential flow of ideas. How can you do that? There comes the argument matrix. I will give you an argument matrix template so that there should be a linear progression of your ideas and it becomes the reader, for the reader it becomes so easy to understand your ideas without any flows. Okay, so argument matrix template, I will tell you what it is. Uh, while writing the uh, manuscript, anyway you, sh you, you will be having a central two or three ideas. So you can list it as idea, then this introduction, then methods, then a results, then discussion, then your limitations, uh, conclusion, Recommendation. Okay. In this, you write your idea number one. And of the idea number one, you write the introduction uh, methods, all these IMRD as well as limitation, conclusion, recommendation of this idea one. Then you go to the idea two. And you write each pair. And in idea, if you have three ideas, you have to write each idea like this. Okay, so in the outline of manuscript, now you have to go 
in the introduction section go from idea 1 to idea 3. Here also you go like this. There should be a linear progression from one idea to another under each section. Got it? So you first write all this. So there should be a flow of ideas from idea 1, 2 and 3. From introduction you go to the methods. From methods you go to result. From result you go to the discussion. From discussion you go to limitation. From there you go to conclusion. From there you go to the recommendation. See? So there will be a linear flow of your, all your central ideas. So it becomes, your manuscript becomes so attractive and it will be so comfortable for the reader to go through your whole of your manuscript. And this is how you have to write your manuscript. And an area where you make your uh, manuscript so attractive to the reader is your title and also your abstract. So already I have told about the abstract or a miniature uh, manuscript. And uh, uh, regarding title, usually uh, the journals will ask you for two types of titles. One is your uh, original title and uh, another one will be a short running title. So you should be ready with both these. And ideally the title should be around 20 words. So you have to limit your word count to 20. So always um, avoid waste words like a study on, study of, and all these are waste words. So avoid them and make this title and your abstract so attractive so that the reader will go and also keyword. You think of the keyword and uh, that will increase your search results while the um, scientist or the reader wants to do a uh, literature um, search. Okay, so do all this, write your manuscript beautifully and increase the chance of your paper getting accepted by a very um, high indexed journal. Good luck.